And guys, I want to do a little video on this. This is a C5 spindle I took out of a job. It's less than a year old. And it won't click. So they say soaking it in white vinegar will release that. Now, it came out of a house that... Um, a summer home. Uh, it had regular city water, so it was nothing, you know, no well water or nothing, but it won't click. That should click in there. So I'm going to soak it in um, some white vinegar, and we'll check it later in the day. They say it's supposed to work. I don't know. I'm going to try it. They also say if you run it on the hot water, sometimes you'll free it up. I'm going to try it. I'm running it on the hot water. See if I can free it up, the clicking mechanism. Wasn't getting any hot water, it was just basically, uh, it won't click. It still won't click. It still won't click. So we'll try the vinegar. You should hear that thing clicking. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to put it right like this so this thing don't tip and we'll fill it with vinegar. We'll let it sit there like it'll work. Alright, it's covered with white vinegar. So we'll let it sit. Obviously, as a working guy, you know, when you go to a job and this thing's defective, you put a new one in. You can't be pulling it out, leaving the guy without water for a day to soak it with vinegar. But it's just a little experiment I'm going to do here. This thing's less than a year old. Alright guys, I came home for lunch. It was, well, I left around 9 o'clock. 9, 10, 11, 12. So about 3 hours, 3 and a half hours I soaked it in the vinegar. I come home, it wouldn't click. I ran it under hot water. And I tapped it on a window. Now it started clicking. Don't mind the dishes here. I gotta wash them today. But it's free. It's free now. So I had to work at it. I soaked it in the vinegar, and then I had to heat it up on the hot water to get it to free up. But it is free, so. So the white vinegar did work, but you got to work at it. It ain't going to happen in an hour or so. You got to let it soak. Might better off letting it soak overnight. And then get it really hot with some hot water. And sometimes you got to, depends on where, where it is, you got to tap on it on a piece of, like on a windowsill or on a piece of water outside. Whack it to get that thing loose. You can hear it clicking. Listen. So just a little tech tip. It, I have heard that the vinegar works. Some other ones I did an experiment on a while ago. I did soak them in vinegar. They kind of turned green here. This one, this one with the blue didn't loosen up. But these other two did loosen up. These other two, but when I first soaked them in vinegar, um, I couldn't get them to loosen up. I couldn't get them to work. They've been sitting here for, I don't know, a couple of weeks, couple of three weeks. I was going to throw them out, and now, now that they're loose, they're loose. So I could put a rebuild kit. I could put rubbers and uh, rebuild these and reuse these over, these two. That blue one's definitely not working. So. so the moral of the story is the vinegar does help, but you got to really work at it. I was doing a video on these uh, a couple, about a month ago, I guess, and I soaked them in the vinegar and I couldn't free them up, so I didn't do the video, and then I just grabbed them after they'd been sitting there for, I don't know, sitting there for a flipping month, I guess, and uh, they work now, so if it don't click like that, you're not going to get any hot water. So the moral of the story is the vinegar works, but um, takes a while. Me as a plumber, 
if I would go into a house and there was one that was jammed, I would sell them a new one, and uh, that would be it. I couldn't be playing around with this thing for, for eight, eight hours to get it to, to loosen up.